This is it, Luigi. It is time for one of the greatest video games of all time. Wait, wait, did I say one of the greatest? No, 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 no. Not one of. The absolute greatest game of all time. We Heart Katamari. That's right, I'll be getting this game's Platinum Trophy today, which will require me to get all 34 of its trophies. I got started with my adventure, and in this game, we get to play as The Prince. And every time he walks around, he generates some cool music. He must have been inspired by Dig Dug. In this game, each level is a request we take from one of our fans. For an example, this guy forgot how to roll up a Katamari and needs our help to remember. Of course, before we can help, we need to consult the one, the only, King of the Cosmos. All the girls want him, all the guys want to be him. The king himself. He'll always have a comment or two before each level, and it's usually him not wanting to do it. I mean, I, I gotta agree with him. He is the king. He can't waste his time doing stuff like this. We think it may be better not to dredge things up. Your highness is cool. Cool? No, it's important to remember. No, it's crucial to remember. Yes. Then I got put right into the tutorial of the game. Here we will learn how to maneuver with our Katamari. You may be wondering, what is a Katamari? Well, it's one of these beautiful looking colorful balls and we use it to roll up objects. And the more objects I roll up, the larger my Katamari becomes. Which in turn, of course, allows us to roll up even larger objects. And then at the end of each level, the king will assess our Katamari and throw it up into the cosmos, turning it into a planet. The next level is an actual real level, and probably the most standard type there is in the game. So in the top left corner, we have our current size, as well as the size we have to reach. And in the top right corner, we have the time limit to get to that size. Ladybugs, get over here! Get the ladybugs! <laughs> this music, by the way. Oh! Dude, Katamari has such good fucking music. Also, why is this place such a fucking goddamn mess? Like, why are there fucking strawberries and shit on the ground? Ants? Dude, we're doing whoever lives in this house a goddamn favor. What are these? Are these fucking batteries? There's AAA batteries all- Ooh, the kitty cat tail. And there's snails too? Wait, let me see. Can I get the snails? Yeah, I got one. It only took me about one minute to reach the size required to beat the level. But once you reach the size, it's really cool because the game lets you just keep going until time runs out to get even bigger and bigger. When I finished the level, I earned my first trophy, which is to roll up a hundred different objects. After certain levels, we'll get little snippets of the king's childhood, and we learn he didn't always have such a luxurious life. Like and subscribe if you cried. Or if you laughed, because childhood trauma is hilarious! Bruh. Speaking of hilarious, allow me to introduce you guys to some of the new fans that appeared in the main hub area. We have my two homies here playing chess. Over here, we got this guy who's stuck on a little island, and then over here. What the fuck? Okay, I'll stop. Bro kinda sounds like me, Loki. <laughs> so I continued doing more levels, most of which were just your basic get to a certain size type of levels, but I also did some more interesting ones, like this one where I had to make the prettiest Katamari ever. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know if it's possible to fail this level. I, there's no requirement as far as I know, it's just collect as many flowers as you could, which I collected over a thousand! 
Look at how pretty my Katamari is, guys. Come on. Looks good, right? I kept completing so many levels, and I started to get really sus. Like, why am I not getting any trophies? Well, it turns out, and it took me quite a while to figure this out as well, that most levels have two versions to them. There's as large as possible, which is what I've been doing and what I already explained earlier. This is the most standard of all ways to play Katamari. But then we have as fast as possible. It's quite literally what the name implies. You just have to get to a certain size as fast fast as possible. It's basically speedrun mode, and it's somehow even easier than the other mode. Want to know why? Because no matter how much you drag your feet or how long you take, as long as you reach the size eventually, no matter how long, you will pass the level. So I just had to repeat every level I already did in this mode to give me all the trophies I so much deserve. Pink! Does it make me a bad person? I think these cutscenes are hilarious. Like, I mean, come on. Look at the rabbit who got third place and with a fucking carrot instead of a trophy. That's funny. One of our fans is this cute little doggo. Aww. And he has a very interesting request for us. He wants us to roll up the sun. Oh, shit. So yeah, this is a uh, quite the interesting level, right? Let me explain this whole scenario to you guys. Well, obviously we're in space and we're rolling around the entire planet of Earth. And what we're rolling up are the planets we created from the other levels in the game. So every time I complete a level, it will be another planet that we could roll up during this level to get even larger. Obviously, there's not too much to roll up here right now. So as soon as I roll up everything, I can make an attempt at the sun. Drum roll, fellas. Honestly, we look pretty large. I know it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. There's no way. Oh, yep. <laughs> we just doomed Earth and every single planet in the solar system. Nice. So our only option now is to make more planets in the sky. So to do that, we have to complete more levels, which makes more planets, which also gives us more trophies. I do want to highlight some of my favorite levels, like this one, where we get to roll up an entire gingerbread house. Let's go right to the wall. Oh, this is so satisfying the way it's just all falling into me. This is the tastiest Katamari. I just want to eat this shit right up. I don't even know what this shit's supposed to be we're picking up. Are these supposed to be like those wafer cookies? Like those vanilla wafer things? If so, I mean, either way, they're fucking yummy looking. Is that supposed to be a- it's a doggy! Oh, we got to see the whole picture. We got to see the full thing. There we go. He looks so cute. Look at the sparkles in his eyes. My personal favorite has to be this one, where this girl is afraid her field trip is going to be canceled due to rain and asks us to stop the rain. So how do we do that? We roll up the clouds. Just like the gingerbread house, it's just so satisfying rolling up all these clouds and seeing yourself get so large in such a short amount of time. I even got to roll up full rainbows in my Katamari. When I completed this level, not only did I get the trophy for completing it, but I also got this trophy for rolling up a thousand different object types. In this level, we have to roll up a Katamari large enough to be a head for a snowman. Or you could do what I did and just say, screw that, and immediately go to the snowman. I wonder if it will let me complete the level like this. Oh. Oh my god, it worked! <laughs> okay. Oh. <gasps> That's not even a snowman, it's just a fucking giant snowball! Oh. <laughs> oh, what a great, what a great snowman. Oh yeah, look at them all cheer for me. As much as I love this game, it does get a little repetitive after a while, and a lot of levels are really easy. Like, I just completed all of these, no issue. There is one level, though. Get ready, fellas. You all thought Crypt of the Necrodancer was a hard game? Well, this level puts it all to shame. 
Oh, I guess it's not that hard. They're all so happy now. Oh, look at the duckies. <laughs> they look funny, actually. <laughs> Bro's riding a zebra. Oh, a dolphin. Oh, things are so good for the king and his family. Oh. Some levels in this game I started at a very small size, but worked my way up to an absurdly large size. I mean, just look at this. I'm more than twice the size I'm supposed to be for this level, and I'm literally rolling up an entire city. Oh my god! Uh, you alright there, old lady? <laughs> Looks like uh, the Katamari is kind of eating you up. Now that previous level is nothing compared to what I like to call the big one. Okay. 500 M? That's so large! To put into perspective how large that is, that is about 17 times larger than the Katamari I rolled up in the previous level. My god. This is it! We're gonna roll up the entire world! Here we go! We're gonna be 500 times bigger than we currently are right now by the end of this. This is easily the most insane level in the entire game. We very quickly get large enough to start rolling up people, then cars, and then buildings. Up here's where I started out. Look at how small it is now compared to me. I'm literally rolling up the entire town I started up in. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. We're destroying so many cars right now. Oh, oh my god. I gotta roll up all these buildings. I'm literally destroying the entire freaking human population right now. Yeah. Oh, this is so satisfying getting all these houses. Dude, how many homes are we destroying? I eventually got to the point where I'm picking up entire towns like they're nothing. Can we talk about how big this map is? Like, and what is even going on? Why is there a city being attacked by those monsters right there? Oh my goodness. And there's a desert here, just in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Pick up fucking pyramids. Literally nothing can stop me. There's dinosaurs here too! Oh. Picking up the dinosaurs. What the hell is that? What is that huge thing? Holy shit. I'm literally picking up the land now. I'm picking up the... What is that? In front of me. That's huge. Who is... Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna get big enough to roll up that guy. I'm gonna get big enough to roll up this big purple dude. I'm coming for you, big purple guy. Let me get all this land first. Make sure I'm big enough. This is the place I started in, by the way. Look at this. We got him. There he is. <laughs> is that? It's him. That's the king. That's the guy I saw earlier. The king of cosmos. Oh, we got to roll him up. <laughs> There's so much in this level, by the way. Look at all this. This place is massive. Holy shit. That octopus is massive. There's no way I can get him yet. No way. Oh, no, I can't get him. He's pushing me. That thing's huge. It's like as big as the king of the cosmos. <laughs> the music right now is kind of funny, by the way. Okay, the map's looping because the octopus is there now. I'm so big. Holy shit. We're picking up fucking icebergs. I'm, like, almost five times the size I was supposed to be. One minute left, by the way. <laughs> That's a big whale. Oh, can't get the giant fucking volcano. Yeah, I'm not going to get big enough to get the king. Oh, well. I'm massive, though. I'm way bigger than I needed to be. <laughs> oh, octopus is pushing me. What the fuck's happening? This music. Oh my god. I can't see! I can't see! There's angels. I can't see! The king! Stop pushing me! I can't see! 
Oh, I'm almost big enough to get him, I feel like. Oh, I can't see. That's the end of the level. GG. This is going to be good. Oh, oh, why did they have to downsize it? Come on. It, why, it was way bigger. Dude, it was like as big as you, bro. It was as big as the king. Come on. I did, however, receive a trophy for rolling up 2,000 different items, as well as another one for completing the level. I then made another attempt at the sun, and as you can see, space is a lot more crowded with planets than last time, so I'm feeling very confident on our ability of rolling up this sun. I'm gonna go for it soon. Oh! Oh, shit. I missed those. Let's just go for it. Fuck it. Here we go. Oh! We definitely are gonna get it. Come on. Come on. Oh! We did it! We rolled up the sun! Let's go! That dog's gonna be so happy! Then I just had to go through the longest credit sequence ever. Like, I'm, I shit you not, this was like a good 10 minutes. But, when it was all done, I earned two trophies for completing the game. Now that the game is officially beaten, I unlocked this bonus level where we have to save the Earth from this meteor that's approaching. To save everyone on Earth, we just have to simply roll up every single individual country with this Katamari in order to save them. Now, as a YouTuber, the most important thing in the world to me is view count and ad revenue. So, I made sure to roll up the top 10 countries that my viewers are from. So, if you're from one of these 10 countries on screen, I can promise you're safe. Oh, and thanks for viewing, by the way. 169 countries? I don't I don't know how many countries there are on the Earth, but I think we got almost everything. Oh, the meteor's so close. Why don't we just roll up the meteor instead of rolling up all the countries? Wouldn't that be more practical to do? We've literally rolled up the sun. The meteor shouldn't be a big issue. Oh, I can't, I'm not gonna be able to get that big ass fucking land mass. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. Oh! Oh, I, I guess you do roll up the meteor. <laughs> okay. The cleanup for this game is easy, but my god is it fucking repetitive. What I have to do is roll up every single one of the prince's cousins, who can be found throughout all the levels in the game. None of them are hard to find at all, in fact, they're all in really easy spots. The issue is, a lot of levels have multiple cousins, but you can only roll up one cousin every single time you do the level. This literally just results in me having to do the same level, like, up to five times sometimes, and it's especially annoying when something goes wrong during one of your playthroughs. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? No! No, 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 no. What's happening? What's happening? Wait, what? Huh? What? Sorry, sorry. Wait, huh? The royal war. Wait, no, but I've slipped through again. Am I stuck? No. No! I'm gonna have to redo this level again. Dude, that's like so. <laughs> I have to redo this level like four times already. Dude, and it's a glitch. Oh, I think I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah. Fuck. What I do like is you can play as any cousin you want. Like this dude who looks like a big pink banana. What? Did you guys think I was going to say something dirty? Like a big pink dip? The worst level has to be the really large level, because there are four cousins here, and that means I have to play this almost 15 minute level four times. I'm gonna be honest, by the time I was done getting all the cousins here, I was so desensitized to the magic of this level, I just absolutely hate it now. Anyway, once I get all the cousins and I get my trophy, I will unlock one more bonus level. Here we're gonna have to roll up all 40 of our cousins to complete the level. Now they're all really easy to find and roll up, except for two of them. Oh, what the fuck? How am I supposed to get these guys? Fucking... I'm stuck! Oh! Roll them up! Ugh! What?! Wait, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! I'm gonna try to sneak up on them. Watch this. Go! Oh! I got him! I got one! Let's go! Yes! <laughs> okay. And you! What the fuck? I don't know how you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to just go quick, I guess. <laughs> we'll get him. Okay, now that guy's literally the only one left. We'll get him here. We'll get him here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> fucking. Oh! This is so frustrating. Oh! Dude! We gotta know. As close as possible without it moving and boost! Oh, we did it! Let's go. Now, to get my final two trophies, which are to roll up the king and roll up the queen, I have to replay the really big level again. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Very close to 3000 M. Apparently that's how large I have to be to get the king. I might be able to pick up that octopus right now. Let's go for him. Oh! We hit him away. Get the octopus! Sweet, gigantic octopus. Let's get the king. Huh? Oh, oh! Wait, where the fuck did he go? He went ahead? No. Mr. King? Where are you? I think he's gone. Oh, please. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? No. No. I'm gonna have to fucking replay this level again! This is gonna be time like number seven or something. Oh my god. This is about 20 minutes later from my last attempt. We're gonna go in right now. Oh, knocked him. Please, please get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, yes, let's go. Now we just have to get the queen, which to do that, I have to replay this level again for her to spawn. Oh, one more time though, one more time. <laughs> Hello, fellas. This is about another 20 minutes later from when I got the king. It's about 20 past midnight. I am really fucking tired. There she is, running away. Let's get the king first to give us that extra... Extra fucking... Fucking... I don't even know what word I'm looking for. Extra growth. Fucking pick him up, pick him up, pick him up. He ran away! I didn't get him! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, queen's right there. I'm just gonna go in. Oh! We got her! That was easy! Okay, that's the plat. I just had to quit out the level. <laughs> oh, it's our queen. She's adorable. She really is adorable, isn't she? She is so Look at her. She's so adorable. Okay, so we can just quit out. We can stop the level. We're gonna get the plat, guys. We're gonna get it. Here it is. Boom! We also love the queen. And, and, and... Woo! We love Katamari Damacy! GG.